Good morning. Welcome to Walking the Dogs Part 8. We're at the Stew Pony Lock, which is about a mile from Kimber. Which is that way. That's uh, the Doll's House, built in 1772, which used to be a sweet shop. Um, this magnificent Victorian building, Georgian building. And um, in the background there, those new horrific buildings there, there used to be the, uh, the Stew Pony Hotel, knocked down uh, years ago. There used to be a lighter over the back where people could uh, swim in the summertime. Um, it's all been demolished. At the far back of there, there's a sand quarry, um, which I have to do in another video. Um, but today we're, um, we're heading to a place called Crestwood Avery's, and um, we're going to go and um, get a carton of Ribena and uh, go and have a look at the fish. So um, I'll see you in a bit. So we're at Crestwood Avery's now. Presswood Pet Zone and uh, come here uh, quite often for a little ride out. It used to be called Presswood Avery's, it used to be just a shed with um, finches and budgies, canaries, but um, the popularity of keeping Avery's has fallen and then it's more sort of fish and uh, lizards and things so uh, I'll see you inside so here's a, a cracking Amazonian tank with uh, Cardinal Tetris been established for a couple of years look at those beauties Yeah, they run a CO2 uh, tank with this to uh, boost the photosynthesis of the plants. Yeah. There's a cracking tank. Lovely group of cardinals, mature cardinals. A few other little textures in there. Yeah. Uh, parrot cages. Oh yeah. Nice corner sank. Oh, that's a lovely uh, planted sump tank. Sometimes get little baby fry in this tank uh, coming off the eggs. Some big silver dollars. Used to have marines here, but um, they didn't do very well with the marines. Uh, African cichlids. My favourite freshwater fish. Oh, this is pretty. It's a cichlid tank in the Great Lakes of Africa, Lake Victoria. The lung, um, very rare in the wild now, I think even might be extinct. These catfish, whoa. Fifty quid. Reverse osmosis water. Get it for free off me. It's a, it's a bit of a mess that is. 
Mm. Mm. Snail tank. Oh, guppies. Guppies. The thing is with guppies, they don't, they don't last very long. You're lucky if you get a couple of years out of them. Very pretty though. I mean, um, if you keep your room warm above 26 degrees all the year round, you don't really need to put a heater in the tank. You know, they'll just live in the warmth of your room. Oh, they're pretty. Really easy to breed as well. Mollies. Again, another easy fish to breed. Tetris. Neon Tetris, similar to what we saw when we first came in. Uh, well, they haven't got any cardinals. Those are the cardinals, 199. Little neons. I think you can get them from about 50p each, off a local breeder. Watching the programme, some time back. It's like, I can't remember what Chef he was from Top Chef. Because you know there's supposed to be a food shortage in the next one. Sounds like the tropics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leopard tortoise. Hmm. No, that's not leopard tortoise. Jungle cross Iranian carpet python. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, why would you uh, want such a thing? Hmm. Yeah, so here we have a... I can't, uh, I can't a Cuban it. night anole. Hmm, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, there's the tortoise. There you go. I saw these wild in, uh, in Greece. Wandering around. It's a baby bearded dragon getting the heat off the uh, the heat lamp. Black headed python. Uh, he's got a pooly eye. His eyes are a bit white. Mm -hmm. so. It's a good idea. Uh, build a ward tank with a some glass so you can see inside. Israeli koi. Stop bombing Gaza, Israeli. Israeli. I wouldn't buy you. No, been bred by Zionists. Yes. Japanese koi is the best. Yeah. I think I'm going to feed them, I think. Really tight. I mean, you can put your hand in and just grab them. There's some here, 150 pounds. Blimey, well, they're lively. Okay, so we're on the way back now. 
from uh, Presswood from back and um, that concludes walking the dogs part 8 subscribe like dislike don't care peace